Stars, you like your favorite reporting live here from CS 2017. It's been a marathon. I'm just here with Jonathan Shipper. He is, I believe, the founder of a company called GemSense. I am a co-founder. Co I want to say a huge thank you to my partner, Avi Rabinovich. And our guys, Michael and Tomer, you guys rock. We couldn't have done it without you. Okay, well, this isn't the Oscars, so let's talk about the technology we have here. <laughs> okay, so basically this is stuff for nerds and for smart people, and like nerd dads and stuff. Makers, enthusiasts, hobbyists, right? People yeah. who want to... I'll tell you, yeah. yeah, okay, our big business is working with companies who really just want to put some smarts into their devices. Yeah, this is one of our development boards, and this is another one that comes with a battery. And the idea is you get easy access to extensions, so you can build any smart object. But this is the heart of the system. It's basically a tiny system on a model with Bluetooth motion sensors and the processor and transmit all the data to your smart device, be it a phone, tablet, smart glasses, whatever. And so we embed these sensors, these sensor kits in accessories such as controllers. We made this almost two years ago. Um, all kinds of small uh, objects, VR guns, swords, driving wheels, pedals, whatever. Guys made a spindle in one of our hackathons, smart rings. Um, OTI is a big payments company. They just took out a smart ring platform based on our gem. Smart ring. And okay. the highlight that we're showing here in CAS cool. is the chair. It's, uh, it's by Novi Style Group. What they do is they, they are actually masters of ergonometry. They make, smart, they make office chairs, great office chairs. Yeah but they wanted to up their game with some sensors. So uh, to get the ergonometry reading all the time and improve the smart office, you can improve comfort and uh, efficiency, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. both by controlling uh, the lights, uh, heating in the office, by knowing where people are sitting and how hot they are. Mm -hmm. And of course, people over time, you can give them feedback on how they sit. Exactly. And so you feel Ergonomics, better, you work the better. Weight. They're sort of pitch and yaw. Yeah, so what we have What about the, the, virtual, the virtual reality game you had built into the app there? Yeah, okay, so that one, yeah, I'll tell. We have like 14 sensors in the chair. Yeah, yeah. We measure temperature, humidity, uh, angles, height, and, um, so, and pressure also. So we know how you're sitting and uh, also on the backrest. Okay. And so we use that sensors to give all that ergonomic data, but we said, okay, we can show a bit more. Yeah. Because we already have all those sensors and we deal a lot with VR. And we said we'll give a relaxation game based on VR, so you can actually fly a plane with a yeah. fly a plane, fly a plane, <laughs> fly a plane <laughs> with a chair. So long, yes. And when you lean back, it goes uh, okay. faster. So the chair is smart. You know, you you create all these wicked sensors. But let's just talk about the things for hobbyists. Like yesterday in the demo, you showed us. So you put the sensors in the gun, yeah. right? And then connected it obviously to the Gear VR, and it was basically so we. So as a, as a developer, as a maker, how do I find you? How do I find your kits? Okay, you go to gemsense.cool. Gemsense.cool. Yeah, or right. gemsense. G -G 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 Wait, we, can, we have a short one. It's we'll gs.cool. Ah. Or you can go to dev.gs.cool. We'll That's our developer's We'll put it in the corner. description. We'll put it in the description. Great. So people can buy this hardware, these sensors, and then they can access your SDKs yeah. on GitHub. It's all available online. We have Windows, Android, iOS. Yeah. Uh, Linux, uh, 3D environments, Unity, okay. Unreal, and you can connect. You basically, know. you write connect, get yeah. data, or you drag a plugin, and it yeah. starts and moving because so you got the motion sensors. Was Unity? Right away. It was Uni Unity. Was yeah, the in SDK. Unity, we yeah. show a lot of uh, VR in Unity, AR. Is it pretty easy for somebody with uh, not so much experience in coding to build something? You have to be like a coder, like yeah. a game developer or a coder. You okay. have to know uh, your uh, APIs, Basics. like Java, yeah. Yeah, Windows, okay. yeah, uh, yeah, C, whatever. But you don't have to understand anything about the hardware. Yeah. We give hardware as a you, service to you developers. Take the complexity of the hardware. Yeah, I came from uh, the developer side, okay? I'm not yeah. that big of a hardware guy. My yeah. partner, Avi, is more of the hardware guy. Okay. And our guys, of course. And um, so uh, I wanted a, a platform. I was one of the first Google Glass explorers. Yeah. And I wanted to create a smart ring because the interface was shit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Okay, we're being real. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I love glass. I still love glass. I love Google. I'm a fan, but yeah. you know, but there's we're no being interface. Real. So you have the all the, you need these peripherals, right? Even something yeah. like this that so can do I motion to make tracking. A ring with a camera, basically. Has it a camera on it? No, this one doesn't have okay. a camera. It has only motion sensors. Yeah. It was for our previous model. That's why it's this big. So someone with a ring on and augmented reality or virtual reality uh, could. Someone took the other ring, but we had a smaller ring that we just made. And this is actually the board that powers that up. So how many IQ points do you need to actually be able to do this? Because I'm totally confused. Right now, just all just you need... <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> all you need is basically the right code. Yeah. You build your app. What we saw is we have a big maker community in Israel around wearables and IoT. Mm -hmm. It's called Next Tech on Meetup, mm -hmm. uh, on Facebook. Oh, I'm, I'm check it out that, too. Yeah. 
And then, um, what we saw is that a lot of people are trying to create the smart devices, yeah. but they get stuck in creating their own boards. It's, yeah, yeah. it's a very long process. You need experts. And and expensive. Very expensive. Yeah. It takes at least a year, year and a half, millions of dollars it could cost, and that's if you do it right. That's not going to attract any makers. Yeah, so what we did is we, you, we developed a development kit like this. Yeah. You just click the board on it, it gets power, and then it starts transmitting right away. And then you can easily connect more sensors to it and just write code for it. That's it, you just create your application. Just connect, get data, it's with the three lines of code you can get started on Android. I love it. All right, well listen, I want to say a big thanks, you know, for what you're doing for the Android community. Really, no. Uh, no, no, seriously. No, for big also, thanks to you guys. No, I mean, no, no. You, you, you were part of my inspiration, really. No, we're just I trying mean, to find the cool stuff for the nerds, right? And for all, all kinds of people, you know, Android, it, I mean, it's just kind of amazing. And, you know, I don't have children, but if I ever do, I would want them to learn how to code. I want them to learn to speak Chinese. <laughs> uh, and I want them to be a nerd, because nerds are cool. And, yeah, this is all a little bit beyond my britches, but I know that there are a lot of people like on our team, like Robert Triggs and Gary Sims, who would, who would love to play with this stuff. And it's Actually, pretty much, it's, un what? it's unlimited. I I'll leave you one kit. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, so oh, you guys, okay. I'd love to see what you guys yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, well, absolutely. We can do, we'll follow up with that. Anyway, so it's Jonathan Shipper here with GemSense, Darcy Lacovay reporting live from CS 2017, just wrapping up our coverage. Thank you very much for watching. Check out gemsense.cool for more information on all this interesting stuff. And uh, thank you very much for your time, sir. Thank you very okay. much. Signing off.